When it comes to our health and fitness goals, for some of us, many of us, we tend to default to what we call the all or nothing thinking. Meaning that if we cannot do it all, then we do nothing. So for example, you want to start to overhaul your diet and you know, eat healthier, breakfast, lunch, dinner. But since you're like, mm, I cannot eat salads, smoothies, like for some reason, maybe you can't afford to start it yet. Um, you're like, mm, since I cannot do it, let me just be eating my chin chin and <laughs> small chops and sugary drinks and all of that. Because you cannot have it all, you just default to doing nothing at all. Same thing happens with your workouts. Maybe you want to go to the gym. That's a desire. That's a valid desire. But you don't have the time. So instead of doing something small, you're like, mm, I'll just keep waiting until I can afford to go to the gym. Now that thinking is called all or nothing and it is lazy at best and dangerous at worst. I'll tell you why. It's lazy because your brain can actually do more sophisticated thinking. So instead of just staying with all or nothing, there are many nuances between. It's not always going to be black or white, but it takes some cognitive stretching some mental stretching to be able to stay not just a black or white but to embrace all of the many nuances within it takes some stretching so it's actually hard work and sometimes our brain just wants to default to the lazy easy i say it's dangerous at worst because you just keep pushing yourself further and further away from your goals. So time just keeps going and going and going and you're not able to go after your beautiful goals because you're waiting for this perfect utopian moment in time when all the stars align and boom, you just have magically 90 minutes every day to go to the gym. But you don't do anything until that moment comes. So it's actually very dangerous at worst and it's lazy at best. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually notice and identify the all or nothing phenomena, then sidestep it with a more sophisticated thinking process. Now let's go deeper. Shalom, shalom, best lifers. Welcome to Your Best Life with Asia. Huh? And here we talk about healthy living, but I don't leave my love for Jesus and passion for my family behind. So you hear a lot of Jesus, a lot of family, right in the midst of healthy living and eating. Okay, my name is Asia Han Bolajio Lojo, and I'm both a certified health coach and a certified health mindset coach. And I love to make that distinction because as a health coach, I have this growing and beautiful and expanding knowledge of food and fitness and nutrition and diets and, you know, all of that good stuff. And as a health mindset coach, I now have this growing interest and really seeking expertise in mindset, especially the mindsets about our health, whether growth or fixed. And some of us are familiar with the growth of fixed mindset. So that mindset about your health, that not only allows you to get results, aka applying the things that you know but not for a short time for a long time so that as you get the results you can keep them because it's one thing to get results it's another thing to keep them which is why i went into the mindset of health coaching and really when you combine my health coaching and my health mindset coaching certification listen it takes my coaching to the next level and i love 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 the work that i do as a health coach health mindset coach. Okay, so in this video, we're talking dichotomy thinking, which is what psychologists call it, right? But the more, you know, layman language is all or nothing. Now, let me tell you a little bit of my own all or nothing story. And because I'm a word girl, I'm a Jesus girl, I will talk about my love for the scriptures. So if you know me, you know that I love, love, love the word of God. I'm excited about Bible study. I'm constantly like buying Bibles. I have like so many Bibles, so many Bible study resources. I, I get a lot of joy just sitting with the word of god my ideal job is actually to study the word of god like just pay me to study the word of god for myself <laughs> so what this means is that and i did this video of learning from a drunk card you know bible study lessons from a drunk card which is linked down below i told you in this video that bible study takes time so for me personally i'm looking for like two hours minimum with like seven to ten bibles just going through everything and then just cooking up a solid meal for myself however 
I'm a whole grown woman. I have a whole family. I have a job. I have ministry. I have friendships. I have other commitments that I have to keep. So what this means is that I don't have two hours every day. Where do I want to see two hours anyways? I don't have it. So I would then commit this whole mistake of since I don't have two hours, I won't do anything at all. All or nothing two hours or nothing. So I'll just have days go by and I would not study my Bible because I'm waiting for this magical two hours. Then on my Shabbat days, because I take a Shabbat, right, which is one day in the week to just rest and delight in God. And of course I have a lot of time then, so I'll study, 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 study. But that's not wise. That's actually not wise because it means that you're missing out on all those other days, which is why I said it's dangerous at worst because I could have been growing my Bible study nice and smooth daily as opposed to waiting for this day then there's so much pressure on it. No. Now, take it away from my Bible study and my spiritual life. Think about your own goals. So maybe you want to join the gym or you want to lose weight or you'll just overhaul your entire diet, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and everything in between. It has been bad and you're ready to change it. Maybe you need to hire a coach. Maybe you need to get a nutrition plan, whatever thing it is. But somehow you're not ready to do what it takes. And that's fine because, hey, we all know the seasons that we're in. So instead of waiting till everything is perfect when there's time at work and your children give you time and then you have all the money and then you have this and you have that, you keep waiting and waiting and you're pushing off the beautiful goals that you can start to go for now. So this is what I want you to do. Employ this sophisticated thinking process. All or nothing is a lazy way to live because there are nuances in between, like I said. So employ this sophisticated thinking process and this is how you can apply it first get out a piece of paper and a pen, write out your goals, write out the steps you need to take to achieve it. Now, you may not be able to take all the steps, but write them down. Then look at those steps. And if you have read Atomic Habits, he talks about the two minute rule, meaning that you have all of these things you wanna do. So what is the two minute version? Scale it down to the two minute version. What can you do in two minutes concerning that goal? I don't really go with the two minute version or two minute rule. I would rather you just scale it down to the smallest. It might not be two minutes. It might be more than two minutes, but just do the barest minimum that you can actually do where you are. So it's not all, but it's not nothing. So for example, instead of saying I would overhaul my breakfast, lunch, dinner, I'll get a nutrition plan. I would do this, do that. You can just say, hey, I'm going to change my breakfast. I'll have a healthy breakfast every day. Look, that is so powerful because once you just go for that one goal, you can leave the rest. Just leave the rest. Don't worry about the rest. We're going to get to the rest later. Just focus on breakfast. Let me tell you what happens. First, you start to see gains and wins because that little thing would actually, you will see results in your life and that's the truth. Number two, there's something you're telling yourself. There's something that's happening in your brain. There's something you're changing about your mindset and your identity because you're like, girl, I've been showing up every day for 30 minutes with a healthy breakfast. That's so powerful. And if you want to supercharge this, you get a habit tracker. And then every day you show up with a healthy breakfast or maybe your goal is to go to the gym, but you can afford like 60 minutes or 90 minutes. And you say, hey, I'm going to do 15 minutes every day of maybe a workout at home or take a walk. Remember, small, take it to the smallest and just do that small. Then tick it every day. Let me tell you, this visual representation that you're seeing, you're seeing yourself tick it almost every day, hopefully, or every day if possible. You Look, that thing gives you momentum, which is a third. You may have started with 15 minutes or just breakfast, but the more you see that, ah, look at me, oh, ticking up these goals every day, you'll be so motivated. And organically, it will be from within. You are now inspiring yourself to say, okay, let me now try lunch. Hey, let me see if maybe I can take it from 15 minutes of workout to 30 minutes of working out. Hey, maybe I actually can afford to go to the gym. You, you wouldn't even need a coach to be telling you all of that. You would just come to that by yourself, which is why your baby steps are so important. So yes, it is not all, but it's not nothing because your brain is more intelligent and can actually come up with this sophisticated thinking process that allows you to look at the nuances in between and then choose somewhere to start instead of the all or nothing trap. So like I said, the brain will naturally default to this lazy all or nothing process. It's something from our, uh, you know, caveman days from the past, according to research and psychologists and all that. But you can train yourself. You can actually embrace that mental stretch and creative tension and the sophisticated thinking process that allows you find 
somewhere within that spectrum it's not all or nothing it's not zero or hundred it's not black or white there's a beautiful world between these two ends and you can find somewhere nice there and just keep progressively going trust me if you keep doing that you'll find yourself going closer and closer and closer to your goals and that's where you want to be okay so as a health coach a health mindset coach i'm happy to help you i have like various programs that can help we have the detox which we do every single month at the beginning of the month so you want to join that the details are below if you want to join us five days raw food detox at the start of the month however if you're like mm, i want something longer i want something more intense i want something maybe not intense but something more customized one-on-one -on -one coaching yep we have the six month one-on-one -on -one coaching program and the details are also down below I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Now, here is what you can help me do. You can like, you can subscribe. Now you can share with all of those, your people who are waiting for that perfect moment. Tell them that the Bible says in Ecclesiastes, if you wait for perfect conditions, you'll get nothing done. So let them see this video and let everybody in your tribe now embrace this sophisticated thinking process, which by the way, is a term I got from Carl Newport's book, Deep Work. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, I'm leaving you with the shalom, shalom of God, which is the perfect peace of God because the prayer of shalom contains all of the prayers. God bless you. Right, yes. So, now what am I supposed to say again? You know, when we were fighting, when we were, no way, don't put this when we were. Remember, small, super. As a health mindset coach, I'm, I have this, as a health mindset coach, I have now this growing interest and expertise and knowledge. In fact, let's start again.